Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this jagged stitch. Now the jagged stitch was something that uh, is one of those stitches that I discovered while playing around with yarn like I like to do from time to time and uh, it to me it just it looked like double crochets but kind of like jagged so that's why I called it jagged uh, the jagged crochet stitch was the best I could come up with but it's really easy and uh, it takes it takes two rows and two stitches to create and the multiples of this stitch is two plus one and you can use any size yarn and whatever hook that that yarn size recommends I'm using some chunkier yarn because it's easy to, to see on camera and I'm using a five millimeter hook now this stitch and you can't really see it from such a small piece here but this stitch uh, for some reason and I'll share a picture with you I tried to make just a blanket just using this stitch uh, I'd made the jagged scrap yarn afghan where I was using two rows of the stitch going one way and then two rows of the stitch going another way and it was even I guess the fact that I was kind of going back and forth with the stitch it allowed it to not pull so much in one direction because when I started uh, making just the stitch just like this I realized that the whole thing starts to tilt and I thought I must be missing some stitches or something and I wasn't I kept counting my rows I had exactly the amount of stitches it was just I guess because of the way that it pulls to the side when you create the stitch it's it's pulling over as well to the side and there just wasn't anything I could do about it I ended up having just to uh, scrap the whole thing so uh, if you want to make an afghan out of this stitch I would recommend uh, mixing it with other stitches that would even it out after a few rows or check out the, the jagged scrap yarn afghan it's, uh, it's a really simple easy way to use this stitch and uh, also a really great way to get rid of uh, scrap yarn okay so go ahead and grab your yarn and hook that you want to use and we'll get started okay I went ahead and chained 20 but the multiples of the stitch is uh, 2 plus 1 so I'm going to go ahead and add one more and then I'll be ready to begin row 1 now for row 1 it's just going to be uh, double crochets because like I said this stitch takes two rows and two stitches to create so this is what I'm calling the prep row sorry for that honking outside if you could hear that so what you want to do is start your very first double crochet in the third chain from the hook so count one two three and in this third chain from the hook you want to put your first double crochet and then you're just going to do a regular double crochet in each stitch each uh, chain so go down your chain put one double crochet in each stitch and I'll see you when you get to the end of your row okay so at the end of my row counting my ending chain two here I have 20 stitches total now for the jagged stitch part of the stitch you have your prep row here so you're going to chain two and turn now you're never going to use the very first stitch of the row to create your jagged stitch you're always going to use the second post of the row so you want to go ahead and yarn over and pick up that post of the second the second post of the row then you'll pull up a loop you'll yarn over only pull through two of the loops now th remember I told you the jagged stitch takes two stitches to create so the first part is done on the post then you want to go into the very next stitch don't yarn over it's important don't yarn over just insert your hook in the very next stitch pull up a loop now you have three loops on your hook which you will treat just like a regular double crochet so you'll yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then very very important you want to chain one so this second post here is is part of the, the first jagged stitch they take up these two stitches so you're going to be using the next post to start your stitch so you're basically be working on every other post on your row so you're going to pick up that following stitch the post 
don't forget to yarn over first. So yarn over before you pick up the post. And you're starting off like a front post double crochet. So you'll, but you only pull through two of them. And then you'll move over to the next stitch, insert your hook without yarning over, and just pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, pull through two, pull through two, and very important, chain one. So you can see we use every other uh, double crochet post to create our stitch. So again, the next post we used as part of our stitch, so we're going to skip over to the next, yarn over, grab up that post, pull up a loop, yarn over only pull through two of the loops, insert your hook into the next stitch without yarning over and you'll pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, pull through two, pull through two, chain one. So you're skipping this one, it's not really skipping because it is part of your stitch, you're just going to move over, remember every other double crochet will be pulled forward. Don't forget to yarn over before you pick that post up. And don't forget to, to chain one when you're done. So I'm going to do this slower. You want to yarn over, pick up that post, then you'll pull through two, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, chain one. The hardest thing that uh, me and my uh, pattern testers found is that you just have to remember um, once you pick up that first loop and you pull through two, not to yarn over here but to go into the next stitch. You can look, this is part of the post, so this is my next stitch. And then you treat that like a regular double crochet and chain one. That chain one is so important. Don't forget to chain one. Yarn over pick up the next post, pull through two, go into the next stitch. And you can see this starting to form. This is a very textured stitch and also it creates a texture like a line. Let me show this part here. See it has this, this texture, that's the front part. No, oh, it is a front. This is the back part. See, it's very textured in the back. It creates these lines. This is the front of the stitch, and that's the back. If you check out the jagged scrap yarn afghan, you can really see the difference in texture. So you're going to continue that all the way to the end, and you should have one stitch left over at the end. So I have two double crochets and my chain space here on the end, which is what I should have, which is enough for me to finish doing one jagged crochet stitch and then you want to double crochet in this very last chain two space. So this chain two space at the beginning will be our essentially our double crochet on this end and then we double crochet at the end here so that will also be our double crochet. If you find that it's pulling a bit much here, uh, especially when I was doing my main uh, baby afghan I was talking about where I just used this stitch, I had on jagged crochet stitch uh, where I was doing the actual jagged crochet stitch like we just did, I'd actually start the row chaining three. So maybe if you find it's pulling a bit too much here, instead of just chaining two before doing the actual jagged crochet stitch, uh, you can chain three here and it will help that. That's entirely up to you. Some people crochet tighter than others. So after you've completed the jagged crochet stitch, we're going to be doing our double crochets again. And I'll show you what stitches to use for that. So go ahead and chain two and turn. Now the chain two here will count as the very first stitch. So you're going to be working into the first chain one space and you're, you want to use the front loop only. Let me get a little closer here. So um, you just need to pick up just this front loop. Wait, let me yarn over first because this is a double crochet. So yarn over, go in using just that front loop only. And then the next stitch is pretty easy. You can see it real good, go into it real good. It's kind of a big stitch. You'll go under both loops of those. So just go into that full stitch 
both loops and do a double crochet. Then again it brings you up to that chain one space and again you're just going to grab up that first loop and do a double crochet. I originally did this because it's so it's difficult to try to get both of the loops of that chain so it's just easier to just get one of those loops. If you feel like you can go under both of them easier then go for it because it doesn't really change the pattern much. I mean you'll get these little loops in front which kind of add a little bit of a texture but it's not that big a deal. So like I said it was just for the easiness of the pattern to use just the front loop only on the chain so you don't have to try to dig in there and get both of them. And then of course the next stitch is super easy to find and put your hook under both. So I just went ahead and said go under both loops. So go ahead and continue this down the row and I'll be right back. Getting to the end here, I have my chain two here. See one, two chains. That's my last stitch of the row. I started with 20 double crochets on this first row. So you want to count to make sure you still have your same amount that you have, same amount of stitches for this row as you did the second, just to make sure you're on, on track. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So I'm good. So I can chain, and like I said, at this point, if you if you want, you can chain three before doing the actual jagged crochet part of the stitch. It can help not pull so much, but it's up to you. So again, you won't use the very first double crochet of the row when doing the jagged stitch. You'll always use the second. So you'll yarn over, pull up that second post of the row, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two then go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, chain one. Yarn over, remember you'll be using every other post of the row because you're still, this second stitch is still part of the first jagged stitch. So you won't, won't pick up the next but you'll pick up the following double crochet to work your jagged crochet stitch on. Don't forget to yarn over, pick up the post, pull through two, insert into the next stitch, pull through two, pull through two, chain one. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be simple to remember. There was a few times I forgot to chain one uh, the next row and what I would do is I would just add another stitch like in between the stitches when I was doing double crochet just to ensure that I had the same stitch count. So it can be repaired if you do forget to chain one but it uh, it messes with the look a little bit so I say only do that if you've you're almost at the end of the row you know where you've already done a long row and you have this and you're like I don't want to go back and rip out my whole row just to have to fix that one mistake. Don't forget to to put the double crochet in this last one. So say here if I would missed putting a double crochet here and I had this big stitch touching this big stitch I would just use the space in between to put that double crochet in that I should have used uh, that I should have had my chain one there to put it in and, and I didn't so I just I would just correct it that way so it's not the end of the world if you do forget to chain one every so often but really really try not to forget because it is part of the stitch count so that's it guys I hope that you like this tutorial and that you'll give this stitch a try it really is fun and like I said I have um, a scrap yarn afghan out right now but I plan on bringing a beanie out as well um, that you can can actually work this in the round and it won't have that same sideways shrinkage like you do when you do it in a row without adding any other stitches. So I'll have that out for you uh, in the next week or two. So that's it guys. Thank you so very much for watching.